Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how I take apart a deer. Now, we've shot this deer, and it's just um, basically how to get it up or over that bump back down to the truck. So, I like to tow deer downhill, but we found this deer on the other side of the hill, so we'll have to pack them up and over. First thing I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to run my finger, I'm going to knock his legs off, and how I do that, I'm going to run my finger up from his toes. I'm going to find, if I go, there's a couple of bumps right here. I'm going to go to the top of the first bump. I'm going to run my knife right across the top of it. And all the way around. And if I've done it right, I should just knock off like that. Get these the one leg, one side started. And run my, uh, yeah, as long as me. And I'm always cutting from the skin out. And uh, the next thing I did is ran my knife up, right up through here, just breaking his skin all the way up here, so I can peel this back. And I, I've started his leg here too. I've just done a little slit down there and started it. Next one, there. so so I ran my cut up his arm and then right down to meet this cut that comes down here, top of his neck here. So as I go, I'm always making sure that this meat is staying nice and clean. There's a few hairs and a few pieces of grass on it, so take that off right now. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to remove this ham. And uh, the way that I do this is I, I basically just follow the bone. So if you, if you give him a wiggle here, you'll see where his, where his, uh, his leg bone fits into his hip socket, which is right here. Okay, so you're taking all the meat off that come with that with the leg bone, and uh, you're gonna basically follow your knife all the way around his pelvis here to free up all that meat. Okay, so you can kind of start by landmarking his back because that's his spine right there. You can find that. Oh, this guy is fat. You kind of start cutting away from his spine. And and you won't feel like you're cutting much, and you're not really. But it's down around here where you start to make your major cut. You'll take, you can actually feel the pelvis bone. And you run your finger on there first and then cut second. But don't cut your finger. Cut on the inside here. I work my knife down and around here. And I want to make sure I leave the penis attached to this quarter. You can see here it's attached to this ham. And the penis here is staying with this ham. And I think I'm going to be, it's going to work out good. Just keep following that bone. And careful not to cut the penis off. Okay, so I've just worked my way around and freed it up from the hip bone there. And I'm gonna pop it straight into a clean garbage bag. Uh, that first three cuts came along here, and we worked our way in here, and then worked our way back this way. It's always a bit tricky. This is a bit of the this this bone, he's got a bit of a knob at the end, so it's kind of hard to feel your way around. But I mean I sort of hacked my way around and I Literally, we only lost a couple tablespoons of meat, so really it's very efficient. Again, just cleaning up this as I go. Um, the next one, I'm taking, just going to take his, his, his arm off. And it's pretty straightforward. I just pull, pull it up and just cut out in behind it. You just see that there's not much of the way of muscle holding on. Eventually, you can just hmm. okay. The next thing I'm going to do is take the back strap out, and so how I do that, skin it back as far as I can, and then I'm going to landmark with my fingers again. I'm going to find the spine, okay, run right along there, okay, and then I'm going to run my knife. Just on my side of the uh, spine there. Let's get started somewhere. Okay, there we go. See what I'm trying to do there is just keep the, the loin muscle and pulling it away from the bone and then just kind of cutting towards the bone. Okay, you can go all the way back to the pelvis there. Okay, and then I want to get the other side of it. And if you feel here, you, you can actually see it right here. There's, this is the muscle here we're taking out. And um, 
Back here, it's some of the more choicer cuts of the animal, so you want to make sure you do a nice job. But you can actually see where, you can actually feel the spot right here where we're going to peel back this uh, loin muscle. I'm going to just call this the end right here. This pelvis bone kind of goes in on a bit of an angle here, so you got to kind of cut around it that. <laughs> Mike was challenging me. Okay, so that's your, that's a beautiful deer loin. So we'll go that, put that straight in the bag. So the next thing I'm going to do is, if you wanted to, you could just uh, run a saw right along here and you could take this whole, uh, um, all these ribs home with you. Um, we don't have a saw, so we're just going to uh, skin away some of this meat on the outside, which will turn in, it'll turn into hamburger. Um, you don't want to. I've already sort of cut away a little bit of the bloodshot meat because I don't want to take that home with us, and I don't really want it to contaminate the rest of my meat. So I'm going to start up here, and I'm just going to run my my blade just along the uh, outside of the the ribs brisket there. At some point you just got to cut her free. So a couple pounds of hamburger. Okay last thing is the neck here. Again I'm just gonna landmark the middle here. And I'm just gonna skin my way around. There's lots of vertebrae in his neck so it's really hard to do a nice even job on skinning him out but all this is hamburger anyway, so it doesn't matter how pretty it comes off. Just do your best to keep it clean. The last piece here is we're just going to grab the tenderloin out of the inside of his cavity here. And it's sort of the opposite muscle to the back strap that we pulled out. So same idea. Just cutting it away from that, from the back but just on the inside. That's what it looks like. And all this stuff you don't need to take with you. So we've, we're, we've wrapped up one side here. We've got a bag of meat here. That's probably a good size pack load for someone to pack home. And uh, we'll flip them over and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Okay, that went pretty smoothly. So we've managed to pull off um, all the meat from both sides. You know, quite, uh, obviously here there's quite a bit of blood shot here for the exit wounds, and uh, so we haven't been able to really salvage any of the of the um, rib meat here. And so, but we've done our best to get a little bit of the, all of the neck and uh, and a little bit of the brisket. Go ahead and trim as much of this off as you want, but we're ready to get out of here. That's um, a lot lighter load than packing the whole head, so we'll take that back with us and um, go from there. Just like that. Um, and that's half a load there for one guy. One elk, uh, an elk hide, will, or sorry, elk hind, hind quarter will just fit into here. And uh, it, was, it weighs about 100 pounds. So this would be a fairly easy load because we've got two pack loads, two guys. I'm going to put my bag of meat. 